I'm Chelsea Green. I'm an intern at Safari Live. I'm getting my master's in environmental filmmaking, and I'm from Vermont in the US. I've been living at the Juma Research Camp for two months now, and I'm leaving soon. It's been just a beautiful, amazing experience. Four, three, two, one. You are live, you are live. Unfortunately, I didn't form any expectations because if I had, it would have completely been unlike anything I could have imagined. As an intern for the content team, I wake up at 5.30 each day and go to final control. So this is the final control where I spend a lot of my time as an intern. As the second director, I read all of the social media questions and comments from people from all around the world and give them to the director to dispatch to the guides. Um, Safari Live is so special because it's interactive and seeing how much this means to people is the best part of the job and it makes me happy every day. Another thing I do is mark out clips for highlights to be added to social media on Instagram and Facebook and we record all of the sightings for certain endangered animals, the high profile sightings, big cats, wild dogs, ground hornbills, and enter them into a database to be used for scientific research. My favorite part about being an intern is being able to make behind the scenes videos and shoot and edit them myself to show the community what it's like to be here, to give them some insight of what it's like to run the operation that we do, because it's truly amazing. When Safari Live went on Nat Geo Wild and I got to experience the whole crew going out of their normal comfort zone of the internet shows and going on a live broadcast across the United States on cable television. It was so exhilarating to be there behind the scenes when I'm in the control room, I learn a lot, and I didn't have any prior knowledge about the biology of African animals, but just doing my job as second director, I get to learn all of the information that the viewers are learning and more. But when I go out on drive is when I get to really experience nature firsthand, get to see it up close, the amazing, majestic animals of the African bush. And I've had two really cool experiences where leopards appeared out of nowhere. One time, me and Jamie and David were out and we saw a shadow, a female leopard with her cub, and they had just made a monkey kill. Absolutely extraordinary. I cried a little bit from the beauty of nature. Oh, look at that. Oh, you naughty little thing. And then another time, me and John Ray and Jamie were out and we went to Red Dam and we had given up on seeing any animals. And then Tingana appeared. There's a leopard there. Can you believe it? A male leopard has just come down to the water's edge to drink while we're sitting here. Well, that was an entirely pleasant surprise. I got to sit about three feet away from the second largest leopard in the Sabi Sands, and it was awe-inspiring to have this giant, beautiful leopard with his eyes. He turned towards me, and I could see the light shining through his eyes, and it was so magnificent. Camp life is really fun. I feel like I've made friends for life, even just being here for two months. I feel like I'll keep in touch with these amazing, fun people. They've not only been able to teach me so many new things about wildlife filmmaking, but also about life and, and being in a community together. Something I'm gonna take away from this internship is the knowledge that this type of career exists, that people can live such good lives out here constantly learning and being inspired by nature and each other. When I leave, I'll miss the inspiration of being in the African bush every day and waking up to a vast expanse of wildlife habitat where animals roam free and we have the privilege of watching them all the time and spending time with them. This has been an amazing experience and I learned so much and I'm excited to go back home and see my family and see what other new adventures lay ahead, but I also wish it could never end. I wish I could stay at Juma. <laughs> it seems like I'm leaving this bubble of happy dream worlds.